accessing the Keycroc serial console this time on Hack 5. Hello and welcome to Hack 5, I'm Darren Kitchen and on this dose of Technolust we are accessing the dedicated serial console on our Keycroc so we can get to the Linux shell with root access to do all of our fun nefarious bidding and I'm going to show you how to set this up on Windows, Mac and Linux so let's just go ahead and dive right in and get started. Now I have a Windows box over here. That's not a Windows box, wrong button. I have a Windows box over here and I have a bowl of cereal. I have a Keycroc plugged in to my Windows box there. Now, what I'm gonna show you here is if we switch back over to that Windows box uh, and I pull up Notepad and I type hello, you'll see it executes world and we can tell we are, as you know from the previous episode, in attack mode. Now we need to get this thing into arming mode to access the serial console. And in order to do that, what we need to do is open device manager. All right. So I'm going to leave device manager open here for just a moment as we put this into arming mode. And as you recall, that's just a matter of giving it the old reach around and plugging in a uh, plugging in our SIM card tool or similar instrument. The LED will start blinking blue. And if we go right back over to our Windows box, you'll see that the device manager has refreshed and we notice our, uh, our USB drive, the key crock. Now, we could of course manage most of this over the key crock, but it is nice to be able to get a serial console for some of the more advanced stuff that we will be getting towards in this series. Now, what you'll notice in Device Manager, and what's important to take away here, is the COM port. Now, I only have one serial device on this particular Windows machine. You may have multiple ones, so you might want to check under COM ports and see what you had before you entered arming mode and what you had after, because whatever is new is going to be the COM port address for your particular key crock. Uh, so just note this address. So mine is COM3, yours may be different. And with that, we can now go ahead and access the uh, serial console. Now. To do that on Windows, you are going to need a piece of additional software. I don't believe Hyperterminal is still included in Windows, or at least it hasn't since like Windows 98 or maybe 2000. Uh, gosh, anyway, uh, what we're going to do is use Putty. Putty is an awesome piece of free software. You can go ahead and download it in the link in the description, uh, and it's a favorite among uh, InfoSec professionals and makers alike. So let's just go ahead and fire up Putty. And it's typically used to get SSH sessions on various boxes, but it can also be used to access serial. So if we click serial right here, you notice that uh, you know instead of hostname and IP address, we've got uh, COM port or serial line and our baud rate. So our COM port is COM3, and our speed or baud rate is 115200. And that's all you have to do. You just click, you know, enter those. You might want to save it, call it, you know, Keycrock and hit save so that you can load this profile more easily later but essentially you just click open and you're greeted with your uh, opportunity to log in now the user obviously is root and the password is h-a-k-5-c-r-o-c yes continuing with hack5 tradition the root password is hack5 the name of the device and now you get an even spiffier ascii art see it was totally worth it uh, so there you go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and safely eject this so that I can now show you how to do something very similar on who are we doing next. Let's do the Mac. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and plug this into my Mac while I have a little bit of cereal. And again, we'll flip it over, press the button, put it into arming mode. Got our blue blinking LED. And let's go ahead and now take a look at the Mac. Now I'm in my terminal here, and I actually have the documentation already pulled up for the serial console. So if you want to just, you know, jump into this for your particular operating system, the information is here. But I'm going to show you instead of uh, just link you to docs. And uh, you know, we've got our keycrock drive here, so we know it's in arming mode. So on a Mac, what we need to do is list these devices. So if you ls into slash dev slash tty star, you're going to see all of the serial devices on your system. I've got my Bluetooth, I've got a, uh, another Bluetooth device, and then I've got this new one. So you would run this command before and after plugging it in. And what you could do is you could do screen, that device, and a baud rate and that would connect you to it. But I, I mean, uh, it's nice that it's built in, but I'm going to be honest, I kind of like this other app called 
Serial. Very simple, I'll link it in the description. This is paid software, but it makes it easy because all you have to do is double click and then you get a little window. You do have to set your uh, profile or your settings to the proper baud rate. So in this case, I need to change this to 115200. There we go. Hit enter, root, hack five croc. And this time we're actually gonna run past WD because we don't want that password. We're gonna get a much more awesome password so it's not the default, there we go. And um, in fact, we can even look around and you can see that there's you know directories and such here. We, we are in slash root and we can cat version and see what version our file system or our uh, key crack firmware is. Wonderful. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and safely eject that now that we've demonstrated this on a uh, Mac. And let's go ahead and unplug that and plug it into our Linux box. All right, so we've got our Kali box here. You can see I just entered arming mode on the key crock, hence there being the uh, USB flash disk or the U disk there. But I'm also in my root shell and I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Again, you could do something similar. You could ls slash dev slash tty star and you'll notice that there's lots of different devices. Uh, you'd probably wanna do this before and after or you could also just check dmessage. But I'm gonna tell you right now on Kali, it's gonna be slash dev slash tty acm0. Your distribution may have it show up as slash TTY slash USB zero or something similar. But again, if you just LS this directory before and after you plug into arming mode, you're gonna be able to tell what here has changed, what's different, and that's going to be your key croc. Now, again, we could use screen. I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of screen. Some people are, I, I think it's okay, it has its place, but I don't like it for serial consoles. For serial, I like a, a piece of software called Minicom. If you don't already have it, I believe it's uh, included with Kali, but it would be apt install Minicom or whatever your package manager is. So Minicom, and what you wanna do is give it dash S or tack S for setup, and that needs root privileges and you open that and you can come down to your serial port setup. And you can see if I hit A, I've already configured this for slash TTY slash ACM0. Uh, yours might be USB0, mine is ACM0. And I've already changed its baud rate, if I hit E, to 11.5200, so we're good to go. Uh, and I've turned off hardware and software flow control, which makes things a little nicer. Uh, so I'll just hit escape. I'm going to save that as my default, so it's always going to do that every time and I'm going to exit. Now I'm not exiting Minicom, so I'm not going back to Bash, but I'm exiting the setup, which will drop me right into uh, Minicom's actual terminal. And now I have a serial console with the croc. So again, root, now my new password, not hack five croc, because I've changed it. And there we go. I have uh, my fun little ASCII and I have you know, my directory structure and I can actually start, you know, poking around and understanding the various different things. Like I can cat this file right here called mode and I can see that I am in uh, the serial and storage mode because we are in arming mode, which provides us not just a USB flash disk or, US, U, uh, or U disk as we call it, so that we can like copy back and forth loot and payloads and such, but we also have serial mode, which means that we can access the Linux console here, the serial console, which just makes it easier for, for installing packages and doing things of that nature. If you've got Wi-Fi set up, then, well, then you've got Wi-Fi to set up. So we can ping 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. And there we go, we are connected to the internet because we have already set up our config.txt with a Wi-Fi network here. So there you are. That is how to access the serial console on Windows, on Mac, on Linux. And with that, we're going to follow up in just a bit with how to access it now over SSH, which is gonna be really important for not just exfiltrating loot on a clandestine pen test engagement where you've planted it somewhere and you're having it connect back to your phone or some other hotspot, but also the uh, ability to do interactive payload development later on. So uh, stick with us. Uh, again, leave any questions below. I will do my best to answer those and incorporate them in the series to come. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm Darren Kitchen, trust your Technolust. Thanks for supporting Hack5. Find all our shows, community, and Pentest products at hack5.org.